Well, Governor Rick Snyder created a six member mental health and wellness commission. Those members were in Marquette today listening to the needs and concerns from people in the UP who work daily with mental health patients. TV6's Gabrielle Mays has the story in tonight's Up Close report. Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly, along with three other members of the Mental Health and Wellness Commission, listened as mental health workers talked about their needs. One of the biggest concerns came from Marquette County Sheriff Michael Loveless, who says around 85 percent of the people coming in and out of the Marquette County Jail are dealing with substance abuse and a mental illness. The mental Ill do not belong in jail. Uh, there are people who have committed a crime. We need to treat their illness, not lock them in jails with criminals. Extreme amount of high stress on our staff, which um, are not trained. We are trained to deal with the mentally ill, but we are not psych nurses. Loveless also added that the former Marquette County Community Corrections Detention Center could be used as a more secure treatment facility for violent, mentally ill patients. Another uh, concern was affordable housing for adults with autism. A stable and safe environment will help ensure the success for anyone, but for people with autism, it is critical. After the meeting, Lieutenant Governor Kelly said the commission will work to help close the gaps within the current mental health services. And I think public-private partnerships are a big part of the, the answer, the future, where we really need to be dedicated to doing things differently than we've done it in the past and being more effective with the dollars that we have, but also taking advantage of opportunities such as the, uh, the changes in Medicaid eligibility that are being de debated before the the Senate this week. A report on the information gathered from each meeting will be presented by December 20th. In Marquette, Gabrielle Mays, TV6 News.